Welcome everyone. Uh, we're going to look at Blood Vessels of the Heart today. Uh, filming this on Valentine's Day, so it's a nice Valentine's Day special. Uh, special episode we're going to have looking at some heart vessels. Okay, so this is a fetal pig, so we're going to look at a few of these. We're going to start uh, not at the heart, because uh, the heart's getting enough attention today. Let's start down at the bottom, near the, 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 near the kidneys and the descending aorta. Let's find those. Luckily, they're pretty easy, I think. Uh, descending aorta. So what you want to do is you want to look down below. That green tube is not it. That's the colon. You instead want to look here. So this long vessel there, that is the descending aorta. Trying to get it both in shot. There we go. That's it. Descending aorta. To the left is the colon. Again, completely different structure. Now, renal. You see renal, you think kidney. That's what you're showing one. I see renal, it kind of reminds me of Reno. And it's like, where is Reno? And it's like, oh yeah, it's near Vegas. I say, like, eh, okay. Uh, I don't know too much about Reno other than that. But renal, Reno. Either way, you're going to need some kidneys. Uh, if you live in Reno, it's desert and it gets hot, so you need to conserve a lot of water in the kidneys. Bam! Renal. Uh, so we're looking for the renal artery. Now, this one's pretty easy. Again, so this is the kidney. So you're going to look for that vessel there. So that one there, not the blue one, but the one below it, is the renal artery. Renal artery. Now, if you're the more sued out there, you're like, you know what, hey, that blue, I bet that's something. Oh, right you are, my friend. Uh, the renal vein is what we're looking at. The renal vein is that big hunking rascal right there. So the kidneys receive a lot of blood. Uh, they receive all the blood that goes through that system, and they'll filter it out and then monitor the, the solute concentration and the water volume of blood. And that's what you'll pee out is whatever that's deemed not fit to be inside the blood anymore. It's a bunch of junk you're trying to get out. Uh, so that's the three lowest ones, the renal artery vein and descending aorta. Now let's rotate this puppy on around. Uh, let's try and hold it this way. Sorry if I was holding the camera in the wrong spot. I do apologize, but we're here. Uh, so now let's start and look at, let's see, let's do the arteries and vessels arteries of the, the upper heart so the pulmonary trunk so this one you have to go over this way and let's see if we can get everything in focus here boom the point that right there that's the pulmonary trunk big vessel going across the heart and it's big like an elephant trunk is big you know going across massive beast pulmonary trunk you know it's not just an artery it's the trunk you know I'm sure if it was noisy it'd make noise I would do an elephant trunk noise, but that'd be terrible, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, that's, that's just not gonna happen. All right, so the aorta, this is where it gets a little tricky. So the aorta is a massive vessel. However, it branches pretty soon after it leaves the heart. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back this way. Oh, whoops, there we go, okay. So that right there is the aorta. So it's come out down there and it's branching over. And so there's gonna be the dis one of these branches as if you follow this around behind the heart, you would see the descending aorta, but this part right here is the aorta. Now in pigs, a little different than us. In humans, we have three branches off the aorta. Pigs have two. The first of those branchings is the left subclavian. Subclavian, subclavian. Okay, so it's this thing here. So this vessel there is the left subclavian. And you can see where it branches off the aorta and goes up. And if you followed that around, that would lead up to the heart. Or not to the heart, jeez. Uh, the left limb. The left limb. And remember, left and right are all based on the pig's viewpoint, not your own. So, but that's the left subclavian. It's subclavicle. Now, we have the rest of the aorta, right? And so one branch is the subclavian. Well, what's the other branch? That is one of my favorite names out there, the brachiocephalic. It sounds awesome, it sounds cool, it sounds like it could be an alien, it could be, I know, a various creature from Star Wars, uh, it could be, I don't know, some sort of weird octopus squid thing out there. Brachiocephalic, brachiocephalic. Uh, it's just, man, it's awesome. Uh, it really just means going into the arms and the head, which I feel like is kind of a downer. Uh, but, you know, oh, oh well, it helps you remember what it is you remember brachioencephalic. But, man, I just, I don't know, I like that combination of letters. Um, I like words that use a lot of different letters to them. And this is one that has, like, a wide range of letter use. And I don't know, I like it. It just, it looks good. It's very pleasing to me. Anyway, where is this sucker? Well, it's the second main branch off the aorta. And then it's found right there. So this branch all the way up to here. 
all that. Hold on now. Oops, yep, there we go. Now, there's some there's some mesh there. I didn't remove that off because I got tired of doing it. Uh, but there, there's a vessel. That's the brachiocephalic. Next, we have uh, if you guys are at home, keeping score. Almost just poked myself with a pointer thing, so you know, hazards of the trade. Uh, but we've done the left subclavian, now let's do the right subclavian, right? Right subclavian. And so we can see that puppy. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a good right subclavian right there. That's some quality work. Look at that. Branching right off of that brachiocephalic. Bam, right subclavian. And it's going to go the other direction that the left is doing it. Left serves the left arm, this serves the right arm. So right subclavian. Big vessel. Nice and easy. Alright, and then now we have... The carotids. And that's, we're almost done with the arteries. So the left carotid is, of course, going to be over here. So you can see this nice vessel associated with that. Look at that. And you can see where it branches off of the brachiocephalic. It goes all the way up. Left carotid. Carotid always must be carrots. And for whatever reason, the word carrot, I don't know, kind of annoys me. I think it's because I was lied to a lot as a kid about the benefits of carrots. And I was like, oh, yeah, you don't make you see better. I was like, what a lie. Uh, I ate a lot of carrots. My vision got worse. So, thanks, mom. Uh, anyway, right carotids. Also, I don't know a crunchy carrot. I feel like you can just like break a tooth with. Like, ugh, I like cooked carrots. And even then, I need some salt or something. Anyway, uh, and then here's the right carotid. It comes off down here, right carotid. And so the carotids very much form a fork in the vessels. See, so there's the left, there's the right. So they have that fork. They'll join up with the brachiocephalic, and then the subclavian branches off of that. They go down, you have the aorta with the left subclavian, and everything else. So, like, the trick to remembering these vessels, especially in this upper part, is, like, remembering the arrangement. So you have the sequence of roads. And so you start off at one pivot point, you take either go to the right, go left. If you go right, it's the subclavian. If you go left, it's the brachiocephalic, which is, is your right, not the pig's right and left, sorry. Uh, and then you keep following that road, it branches off to the right subclavian, keep on going down, left or right carotids. And so with these vessels, they all just blend into each other. So it can be kind of tricky. So it's all about the exact location that you're pointing at. So make sure precision is, uh, is key. Uh, we have two last to take us home. And these are fun ones, the vena cavas. I'm going to start off with the inferior vena cava because you know what? I mean, you got to feel bad for this inferior vena cava. Perpetually called inferior, which has got to hurt that thing's self-esteem. It's like, man, just always being insulted. It's like, oh, the inferior vena cava. Oh, is that the superior vena cava? It's like, you know, what makes that superior vena cava so special? If I was the inferior vena cava, I'd get huffy about it. I'd be like, you know what, you know what, fine. You call me inferior, I'm not going to give you any blood. So suck on that. Uh, but I'm not the inferior vena cava, and the inferior vena cava is just a collection of tissue and that's not, not really cognizant of its surroundings or the fact that it's called the inferior vena cava so we don't have to worry about that but still you think it'd get annoying after a while you know. anyway uh so that sucker it's not an inferior vessel by any means that sucker's big uh it's kind of hard to manipulate here but it's that blue tube coming off that's the inferior where the, the pointer thing is going down in there so it's a long tube so if you see a longer blue tube down this way, well then, you know, what else is it going to be? But, vena cava, I'm trying to stretch some of that junk out. So it's kind of, yeah, there you go. Oh no, my heart fell. Oh, that's, oh man, look at those vessels in the heart, man. Those things are popping. Nice. Oh, uh, come on now. Again, I had that tail. I can hold items. There we go. Bams. Inferior. Superior is easy. Uh, so it's right there. All that blue latex shooting out of it, not blue blood, because blue blood is not blue ever, unless you're a squid uh, or other related creature. <laughs> Spear me in a cave. Uh, and this, of course, was the heart. So I'm just looking around at it. So you can see left ventricle, right ventricle, auricles. Just kind of nice to see a heart again. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. That's the vessels you have to know. Uh, so descending aorta, renal artery vein. Aorta, pulmonary trunk, all that kind of stuff. So you may see it on this pig, you may see it on a different pig. Oh, quick shout out uh, to section 001. This pig is from there, little T. Uh, so give a next time you're around. If you learn these vessels, make sure you give a quick shout to little T. Thank you for that. Uh, got a got a mixtape dropping soon, but not right now. 
All right, see you later. Peace.